What is up, guys? Your boy Jared333, back at it again. Two years later, another pro and con video about Browns. The last one did so good. You guys loved it. And a lot of changes have happened from now to then. You might have heard of Elon Musk in the news mentioning Brownsville, Texas. He recently gave Brownsville millions of dollars in grants to make Brownsville improved. That money was for new businesses and to make it look more beautiful and up to date. On uh, Boca Chica, Brownsville is known for SpaceX, a company that Elon Musk himself owns. Starbase. He's making new advancements for future generations as well. Here we go. Five pros, five cons. Pro number five. The Mexican food here, in my opinion, is the best in the world. Anything really north of the valley is not real Mexican food. It's Americanized. We are a approximate 25 car ride to South Padre Island. 25 minute ride, I'm sorry. Padre Island, in my opinion, is the best beach in Texas. Some people think of the Mexican culture as very warm and welcoming. And number three, it's a culturally rich city and environment. It goes all the way back to Fort Brown and the Mexican-American fights. The weather here is always sunny like California, except you have a lot of humidity. And the last one, number one. This is what ultimately keeps bringing me back to Brownsville. Familia. Family ties. Family has your back forever. In Mexican culture, it's either family or God first. With that being said, let's get with the five cons. So when you're driving, there's a lot of road rage and people here kind of create their own driving rules. So every time when you're driving, you're confused because people are not driving how they're supposed to be driving. Number four, there's not that many job opportunities. There's a lot of fast food and cleaning opportunities here, but not a lot of career opportunities. If you want anything tech related or innovation wise, there's not gonna be a lot of work for you here. Change is very slow here and there's not a lot of innovation, but hopefully Elon Musk can change that. And the people here. And there is not a lot of education educated people here. Most people here are living in poverty. A large portion of the population here is living off GOV benefits. That's one of the reasons why we don't get a lot of businesses here. Like for example, Whole Foods. One of my friends tried to bring Whole Foods to Brownsville. Whole Foods won't even consider it. So Whole Foods won't even consider Brownsville as an option because they look at education level. The amount of people living in the city without a bachelor's degree is very low in Brownsville. And numero uno, number one. So the number one reason for me is not very culturally diverse or accepting of others. Another reason why change is a bit slow here. So if you want to open up a taqueria, you do fine. But if you want to open up an Indian restaurant, let's say, you're not going to get as many customers. Thank you for watching this video. If you're considering moving to Brownsville, Texas, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.